Hello everybody. Today is Monday, October 7, 2019. It is 69 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. And today I'm going to be taking you on a walk of Cobble Hill in the Brooklyn borough of New York City. I am at the intersection of Hicks Street and Atlantic Avenue. This is the border of Cobble Hill with the Brooklyn Heights neighborhood, which is just across the street. So let's get this walk started. Cobble Hill is mostly a residential neighborhood. It's located in the northwestern part of Brooklyn. It only encompasses about 40 blocks. But Cobble Hill is generally um, grouped together with many other neighborhoods in the area, Borum Hill and, um, and also Carroll Gardens to the south. Sometimes people like to make it an acronym and say BOKAKA, B-O standing for Borum Hill, uh, C-O is uh, Cobble Hill, and C-A is Carroll Gardens. But I don't really know too many people who would say that. But we're going to be seeing a lot of um, nice homes today. Many of these homes are located in the historic district. This neighborhood was actually named after a cobble hill that was present in the area. There was a cone-shaped hill called Cobbles Hill or Ponkeesburg. It's located at the intersection of Atlantic Avenue, Pacific Street, and Court Street. And man, that helicopter is annoying. Way to ruin a walk, but hey, it is what it is in New York City. You gotta deal with all the noise, right? But the Dutch used this area, Cobble Hill, as a lookout and they built a fort known as Cobble Hill Fort in the area. I'm going to walk down Henry Street right now. And actually I'm going to be walk on, walking on the other side of the street. I just turned around and saw that there was some construction going on on the sidewalk there. Some nice little stores over here. Henry Public, Henry Public, Tumbleweed, and Lillo. There's also a Italian restaurant. River Park, Cobble Hill. So what I'll do is I'll walk down Hicks Street for a little bit. I mean, uh, Henry Street. Make a left on Congress Street and show you Cobble Hill Park. Then I'll make my way to Court Street, which is the main thoroughfare throughout the neighborhood with many um, places to eat and a lot of stores. This is considered the residential area right now. There's a lot of construction going on here. I'm surprised. go this way this helicopter is so annoying but we got the Polhams Memorial Clinic building over here looks like they may be doing some construction very impressive
Maybe you'll see me in the news, like helicopters searching for action kid right now. It's the beginning of October and people are dressing up and getting ready for Halloween. I love the decorations here. People are just uh, getting in the spirit. A lot of these brownstones are popular um, attractions for the children to go trick-or-treating during Halloween. This is a very nice private garden. All right, time to go up Congress Street to um, Cobble Hill Park. There's architecture of all types here. Greek revival, modern, it all depends on um, how the owners wanted to style it back in the day. Here you can see a lot of different styles. Each one individually made. Okay, let's cross the street to Pablo Hill Park. Very, very nice quiet park here. It's actually my first time in this um, park. These buildings right across from me are very, very nice. Reminds me of a uh, European style and European flair. Yeah, this is a very, very beautiful neighborhood. They have. Uh, flowers here in the middle. I'm sure this looks very, very nice during the springtime. I think I'll walk up um, this next street over here. These seem to be the oldest. Oh my goodness. I never saw a squirrel jump so fast to that tree. That dog was just chasing it and then it went zoom all the way to the tree. Okay, squirrel, it's all right. Now the squirrel's just taunting this dog. So funny. Here it is, Cobble Hill Park. Looks like this is a private street, so I'm not able to walk down it. I was planning to, but I think I'll walk up the other street. Helicopter go away. We're continuing on Congress Street right now.
the main street of Court Street is only a block away. Every single sign on the base of these tree beds say, please curb your dog. I'm sure that's a big problem for many of the residents here. If they need one on every single tree bed like that. These buildings look very, very historic. Place of worship. There we go, burial site of Cornelius Haney. So now I've arrived at Fort Street. You can tell it gets a lot more lively here with all the storefronts. Gourmet seafood market, a nail salon. Now we have this impressive church here. This is St. Paul's Roman Catholic Church. There's a bakery across the street, pharmacy. This is a very interesting store, Blossom Ice Cream. A lot of nice stores here on Cobble Hill. The southern burn boundary of Cobble Hill is DeGraw Street. It's only three blocks from here. That's if you're counting this side of the street. If you go to the other side of the street, it's more blocks because the streets aren't exactly um, continuous with each other. We have Warren Street over here and then Warren Street continues on that side in the upper left corner. Let's see what some of the real estate prices are here. Cobble Hill. $12,000 for a five bedroom. That seems like a rental, that's not a uh, for sale. 8912 Shore Court, $1.4 million. Carroll Gardens, 448 Court Street, one bedroom for $799,000. Layla Jones, this looks like an interesting restaurant. I've noticed people up ahead of me, they're carrying a Trader Joe's bags. I wasn't even aware there was a Trader Joe's in this neighborhood. But yeah, the Trader Joe's is on the corner of 
Atlantic Avenue and Court Street, if you're interested. This is about five blocks back from here. Trader Joe's is one of my favorite places to do grocery shopping. I find they have very, very fresh produce for reasonable prices. More real estate listings. I'll go by them slowly in case any of you are interested in the property here. These are rentals now. One bedroom's $2,500 a month. Another one bedroom, a junior one for $2,100. It's an Indian restaurant, the Indian table. Sam's Pizza or Steaks. Here's a bus going to Red Hook and Ikea Terminal. The B57. I'm actually going to be headed down there right now along Court Street. If you'd like to join me, you can um, follow me in the next video of Carroll Gardens and Red Hook. It's a nice art supply store, framing and um, arts. Here's the cinemas at Cobble Hill. Osaka Japanese cuisine. Got bagels, more bagels, I know. Union Market, this looks like a very, very nice market for all your grocery needs. Very nice pastry shop. These look delicious. Biscotti, cookies. My goodness. All right, I've reached the end of Cobble Hill. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button because this video deserves more views. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.